Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I am Shreya Savage. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 25th of March. India's daily COVID-19 infections rise to five-month high. Biden plans to stay in Afghanistan past May 1 deadline, says top U.S. lawmaker. And Bangladesh sees massive queues outside hospitals amid new coronavirus wave. And now for all the details. India on Thursday reported 53,476 COVID-19 infections overnight, the highest daily rise since October last year. The health ministry said Western Maharashtra, that has been the worst affected state alone, accounts for 62.91% of the total active cases in the country. India added 53,476 COVID-19 infections overnight, the highest daily rise since October 23, the health ministry data showed on Thursday, taking the cases tally to 11.8 million, with 160,692 deaths reported so far. The health ministry said Western Maharashtra alone accounts for 62.91% of the total active cases in the country, a day after a double mutant variant of the virus was detected in the worst hit state. In the past 24 hours, Maharashtra recorded its highest single-day spike since the outbreak of the pandemic, with 31,855 cases. Shortage of beds was also reported in some hospitals in Nagpur district due to the surge. बहुत सारे नंबर ऑफ पेशेंट्स नागपुर में बढ़ते जा रहे हैं हम देख रहे हैं यहाँ पे आते ही बेड अवेलेबल नहीं है रेसिडेंट डॉक्टर्स कम है और ओवरलोडेड रेसिडेंट्स हमारे पास है मतलब हर आठ आठ दिन में ड्यूटी जा रही है नंबर ऑफ क्वारंटाइन डेज कम है Meanwhile, authorities in Indian capital New Delhi on Thursday began random testing of people at all the entry points in the city, more specifically at bus stations, airports and railway stations. The government said safety measures for COVID should be rigorously observed in public places, especially in markets and malls. Now, actually, people have been scared. If you've been scared, you can see the whole place behind you. Like in Mumbai, the cases are increasing in Mumbai. The ratio of the last year was increasing in the ratio of the last year. If you don't have the work, it may be possible that the lockdown will be lost again. This comes as India has administered more than 44 million doses since starting its vaccination campaign in mid-January, but wants to cover 300 million a fifth of its 1.35 billion population by August. Top U.S. lawmaker Adam Smith has said the Biden administration is looking to keep U.S. troops in Afghanistan past a May 1 deadline while exploring a deal in which the Taliban would allow a U.S. counterterrorism force to remain as they confront their Islamic State foes. The comment provided new details of U.S. President Joe Biden's conduct of the Afghanistan peace process that he inherited from the Trump administration. The Biden administration is looking to keep U.S. troops in Afghanistan past a May 1 deadline while exploring a deal in which the Taliban would allow a U.S. counterterrorism force to remain as they confront their Islamic State foes top U.S. lawmaker Adam Smith said on Wednesday. Smith's comments provided new details of U.S. President Joe Biden's conduct of the Afghanistan peace process that he inherited from the Trump administration. The Taliban has been fighting Islamic State's local affiliate and U.S. air strikes on ISIS have proved critical to helping them rout their rivals. But experts say Islamic State remains a serious threat. The Taliban have indicated that they will resume attacking foreign forces if Biden fails to meet the May 1 deadline. In news from Pakistan, opposition Pakistan People's Party and Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz parties are on a road to reconciliation as PPP has announced to participate in Lahore's rally on March 26 when PMLN Vice President Mariam Nawaz Sharif will appear before the National Accountability Bureau.
PPP leader Kamar Zaman Kaira said he will lead his party outside the offices of the anti-craft body in Lahore as per the decision of the Opposition Alliance PDM. Opposition PPP, the Pakistan People's Party and PMLN, the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz parties are on a road to reconciliation as PPP has announced to participate in Lahore's rally on March 26 when PMLN Vice President Maryam Nawaz Sharif will appear before the National Accountability Bureau or NAB, local media reported on Thursday. President PPP Central Punjab, Kamar Zaman Kaira, announced PPP's decision, saying he will lead the PPP outside the offices of NAB in Lahore on March 26, as per the decision of the Pakistan Democratic Movement, which is a 10 opposition party alliance, including PPP and PMLN. The anti-graft body has summoned Madim Nawaz in the Chaudhry Sugar Mills and drive-in land cases. This comes as Pakistan Democratic Movement appeared to be in tatters last week because of serious differences on the issue of resignations, which it believes has become indispensable for launching a decisive political movement to oust Prime Minister Imran Khan. The issue also forced it to postpone the scheduled long march against the government on March 26 earlier. Moving on. Residents in the illegally occupied region of Pakistan-administered Kashmir have expressed anger over sudden increase in electricity bills by state-run Water and Power Development Authority. They termed it as an injustice done to them at the hands of administrators amid rising inflation. Locals in Pakistan-administered Kashmir have expressed anger over high taxes being levied by state-run Water and Power Development Authority or WAPDA for use of electricity in the illegally occupied region. Altaf Bhatt, a former candidate of the local legislative assembly, said, amid rising inflation, it has become difficult for the common public to bear such hefty bills, despite also facing several hours of load shedding. Residents called it an injustice done to them at the hands of administrators as they highlighted that the bills which were earlier just recently rupees 1000 have now risen to rupees 3000 and from 3000 to around 12000 rupees bijli ke hawale se jo mehangai badi hai iske to khatarat bade asar jo hain bade khatarnak awam unko isse bakhar hua hai awam bardash karne se kasir hai aur Locals blamed the economic losses being faced by Pakistan due to policy paralysis are compensated from regions under its illegal control. They accused there has been no progress when it comes to employment and development of the region. However, they continue to be subjected to hardships. In news from Bangladesh, Massive queues were witnessed outside hospitals and clinics in Dhaka on Wednesday as residents rushed to get tested for COVID-19 amid a fresh wave of infections. The South Asian nation has registered over 3,500 daily cases for two days in a row after eight long months. Bangladesh's capital Dhaka saw massive queues outside hospitals and clinics on Wednesday as residents rushed to get tested for COVID-19 amid a fresh wave of coronavirus infections. Bangladesh has registered over 3,500 daily cases for two days in a row after eight long months, bringing its national tally to 580,808 COVID-19 cases, with 8,763 deaths reported since the start of the pandemic. The Bangladesh government has advised citizens to continue to wear masks, observe social distancing and avoid mass gatherings. <laughs> আমরা সবাই করোনা পরীক্ষার জন্য দীর্ঘ লাইন ধরে দাঁড়িয়ে আছি ভোর 6টা থেকে এ পর্যন্ত রোদের মধ্যে খালি আছি Meanwhile amid the surge in cases the South Asian country has vaccinated nearly 5 million people since beginning its inoculation campaign on February 7 with the AstraZeneca shots developed with Oxford University 
A total of 78,817 people were inoculated on Wednesday alone, the local media reported. More on news from Bangladesh. Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh have started rebuilding their shelters after a huge fire swept through parts of their refugee settlement, forcing about 45,000 people from their bamboo and plastic huts earlier this week. According to the UN, the blaze in Cox's Bazar district killed 15 people with hundreds missing. Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh were seen rebuilding their shelters on Wednesday after a huge fire swept through the parts of the world's biggest refugee settlement, forcing about 45,000 people from their bamboo and plastic huts. The blaze, the latest and biggest over the past year in the crowded camps in southeast Bangladesh, Cox's Bazar district, killed 15 people on Monday with hundreds missing, the United Nations said. Bangladeshi authorities say they are investigating the cause. Some one million Rohingya refugees live in camps in Cox's Bazar with little hope of returning to their homes in Buddhist majority Myanmar where most have been refused citizenship and face persecution. Nepal's first ever 3D and 4D Art in Paradise Museum is giving its visitors a unique experience of being in a paradise with its different theme-based paintings. There are about 10 themes available in the interactive museum, out of which the Mount Everest theme is being loved the most by all. Have a look. Nepal's first ever 3D and 4D museum named Art in Paradise is giving its visitors a unique experience of being in a paradise with its different theme-based paintings. The museum, which is spread around the area of more than 6,000 square feet in Kathmandu Mall, offers its visitors a chance to explore the beauty of nature in man-made heaven where imagination comes alive in the form of realistic paintings of nature and culture heritages. When captured in right dimension, photographs clicked at a unique museum can give one the illusion of experiencing it in a real atmosphere. Out of all, the theme of Mount Everest is the most loved as it has the 4D effect where one can experience snowfall and decrease in the room temperature. Thousands of devotees have continued to gather in India's northern Mathura district to take part in ongoing celebrations of Holi, the Hindu festival of colours, undaunted by coronavirus concerns. Though Holi is a single-day event elsewhere in India, it is almost a 10-day affair in Bridge region of which Mathura is a part. Thousands of devotees gathered in a packed Panke Bihari temple in India's northern hill town of Mathura on Wednesday to take part in ongoing celebrations of Holi, the Hindu festival of colours. Amid rising coronavirus cases in the country, most states have imposed restrictions locally and appealed its citizens to avoid crowding to prevent the spread of the cases. Undaunted by the virus concerns, devotees, most without masks, soaked in holy festivities at the river temple. The spring festival of holy festival of colors, although celebrated across the country, is especially important for the bridge region where the celebrations begin over a week in advance and continue well after the festival. Similar scenes were witnessed in the country's spiritual capital of Varanasi, where devotees took out a procession of colours and celebrated the beginning of holy festivities on the streets. The bridge region consisting of religious towns including Mathura, Vrindavan and Barsana in northern Uttar Pradesh state is believed to be the birthplace of Krishna, a major deity in Hinduism and where he spent most of his childhood. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch this show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline.
That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.